Hey guys, what's up? Look at this. I bought this hive because I thought it would be very interesting for you to take a look at this. All right, let's get it out of the box. All right, let's look for instructions. No instructions in the padding there. Oh, hopefully they're inside the hive itself. Nothing in the box. All right, let's take a look in this hive. It's like it needs to turn this way for me to open it up. I like these little handles. It's kind of like some plastic coated cables. It's got a hive stand built in as legs on the bottom. That's kind of cool. Now let's take a look inside. Look at these nice handles, nice features of locking it down nicely. Now let's see what is inside of this. Oh, no instructions. No instructions at all. Wow, I have these rings of wood, which I take are supposed to be the frames. So we're gonna figure that out. That looks confusing. Um, got this piece of wood that have no idea what that goes to at all. Okay. And three little plastic things that have frame indentations on them. But no instructions whatsoever. Nothing. The company that I bought this from, I actually bought it off Amazon. So in all fairness, the company that makes this, this may be a knockoff from one that's made by that company. I really don't know. This may be one legitimate one from a company. But anyway, I would think a company would have better instructions on what you're supposed to do. Because I don't think a lot of people would know what to do with just a bunch of things like this. Um, what this is, it's a top bar hive. And it's a top bar hive that features a circular or round frame that consist of these little pieces of wood, but there's no foundation. Apparently we want the bees to make their own foundation. It's made out of a nice, it looks like pine to me, raw pine, not been painted or stained or anything. It is very small. So what we're gonna do now is figure out where these three pieces go. So these three are frame hangers that go on here somewhere. I'm assuming that there must be grooves that these slide into because there's no holes, screw holes. And I see one groove at the bottom right down here inside. So let me see if that's where it goes. So I'm gonna put this plastic right in that frame slot right down there in the bottom. Mm -hmm. That fits nicely, almost. Okay, that's nice. Maybe, oh yeah, I fill a slot right here. So I'm assuming another one, no instructions. Wow. So I'm assuming, I'm assuming another one goes right in this slot here, which isn't easy to do. Mm-hmm. Okay. Get it started. It goes in pretty easy now. All right. So I've got two of these in place. Now this next one, uh, looks like this one goes right along the opposite side in the same groove, much easier to see over here. Some of you have asked me before about top bar hives, and as you know, if you've looked through my beekeeping channel from years ago, I actually ran some top bar hives. Top bar hives are uh, really what we call horizontal hives. All the frames are laid out this way, and they usually just have one top bar that the bees build on. Sort of like the video we made recently, guys, with uh, War A hives, similar to those kind of frames. But in this case, this is kind of a horizontal hive, but it has not just top bar hives, but circular frames. Let me show you. Um, so these look like they're made out of some really interesting wood, not pine. But what I wanna do is figure out for sure, you know, just exactly how I'm supposed to make this a circle. It's just a piece of wood and it's been kind of rolled out. So I'm going to have to find a way, once I get the right dimension of the circle, I'm going to have to find a way to attach that to itself. Um, and then you can see it goes right down in these grooves. So as I adjust this circle, 
smaller, it's, it will fit down in there. That's not a bad size right there. A little bit big. I like that right here. So I think what I'll do is mark these uh, edges so that I'll know what size this circle. This is the frame that they're going to build comb in. And then I'll staple this with, uh, with my staple gun and then maybe bend the staples down on the other side and that way I can have it attached. Now the question is, should I put foundation in here or should I just let them build their own foundation? Do I really want to go foundationless and let them build their own foundation, their own comb? If I do, what will keep them from going this way all the way through, hanging their comb uh, across instead of in perpendicular with these fr uh, frames I'm putting in? I'm a little worried about that. So I think what I'll do, I'll think I take, I think I'll take some foundation, plastic foundation, and I think I'll somehow put it, figure out a way to put some in here. Not all of it, but if I can put a few pieces of foundation in these circles, maybe every two or three frames, perhaps it will give them the idea of how the comb should be uh, orientated so that they, uh, they will make it on each one of these. Maybe they'll do that naturally, I don't know, but it worries me. I don't want to see them go long ways instead of inside these frames. So let's get our tools out, staple gun, and let's start seeing if we can kind of make some cool frames. So after I put it together, let's make sure it fits in the hive okay. These little frame holder slots, and it does. I think it's perfect. So I think the first thing we're gonna do to get our foundation is to take a piece of plastic foundation and then I'm gonna put my circle frame right here. I'll make sure I can get as mostly to the edges so I can. Maybe I can get a couple out of here. Uh, I think I should draw the circle on the inside. That would be a more accurate cut on making it fit to the inside. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and take my queen marking pen. Boy, I tell you what, I've got so many purposes for queen marking pens, and this is one of them. It's marking stuff that's hard to see otherwise. Bees are kind of a little more gripey, I've noticed, on really hot and humid days. We'll see how it goes. Got my gloves ready. Now we checked some frames for the queen. We didn't see her. So. I see you're down in the bottom of this box. Now I gotta reach in there and grab a queen. Let's see if I can pull that off. All right, I see the queen. She's actually resting right here. And I got her. Hey guys, I'm working hard for you guys. Look at this, the color of this shirt is a light green and it's already a dark green because it's so hot and humid. I am just melting doing videos for you guys. So please subscribe, click on the bell, give me a thumbs up. Help me reach 100,000. Now let's get back to work. Let me get this worker bee off. All right, so. Yep, we've got our queen. So let's put her in a cage. And the reason I like to keep her in a cage is so that I can safely put her uh, in the hive. Just in focus. And not have to worry about hurting her. She walked right in. All right, that was a tough capture. Didn't think she was on the wall. Anyway, now we can shake all these bees into that box and we can get these frames in another box.
queen cage. Shake the beads off. Well, there are a lot of people that go to a lot of trouble um, to have certain types of hives like this. To me, wow, I think a Langstroth would be easier. But I like to try these things for fun, you know, just to see how it goes. So I'm gonna see if I can get this queen to walk in that hole. I got, oh, it worked out really well. She walked right in that hole. Good, that way we know the queen is safe and sound. Now we're gonna take the frames that had the brood on it and the resources, and we're gonna drop it on top of this hive here so they can take care of it. And it will give them a boost as well. Uh, for those of you watching, you don't know what kind of top cover this is, maybe the first time you've seen it, this is called a migratory top cover. All right, there we go. So let's go ahead and put the box that we took off, or the frames that we took off that had brood in them, let's go ahead and put them on here. That way these bees will be able to take care of them and raise them out. And again, since it's so hot and it's so humid today, we don't have to worry about that pupa getting too cold or too dry. It will be just fine. If your bees are in a hot area, if you're living in a place where it's gonna be hot and humid, watch this video here I tell you what to do with your bees in hot weather. Be sure to watch it. I'll see you over there.